This is the Terracotta Army. 8,000 warriors buried over 2,000 years ago. In 1974, farmers digging a well in China struck something that would shock the world, the Terracotta Army. Thousands of lifelike warriors buried for over 2,000 years, guarding the tomb of China's first emperor. For decades, they were seen as symbols, nothing more than clay guardians of the afterlife. But in 2025, the most startling discovery wasn't made by human hands, it was made by artificial intelligence. When scanners swept across the ancient site, they revealed something no archaeologist had ever seen before, a commander. Carved with such eerie precision, it looked less like a statue and more like a portrait. His armor was adorned with strange markings, his face etched with details too human to be coincidence. If this is true, then the Terracotta Army was never just a monument to power. It may be a message, a secret encoded in clay, left behind for us to uncover. And what the AI found next could rewrite everything we thought we knew about China's first emperor. In 1974, a group of farmers in China lowered their shovels into the dry earth, searching for water. What they unearthed instead was something that would change history forever. The Terracotta Army. Thousands of clay warriors standing in formation, buried for over 2,000 years. Each one life-sized, each one with a face so unique it seemed impossible they were all just statues. For decades, historians believed they understood their purpose, guardians of the emperor's tomb, symbolic protectors for the afterlife. But they were wrong. Fast forward to 2025. It wasn't archaeologists who made the next breakthrough. It was artificial intelligence. Using advanced scanning technology, researchers mapped parts of the site no human hand had ever touched and the data revealed something no one expected. Hidden among the rows of soldiers was a figure unlike the rest, a commander. His armor was different, intricately carved with designs not seen on any other statue. His posture was rigid, commanding. His face so sharp, so precise. It didn't look sculpted, it looked copied, copied from someone real. This discovery forced experts to ask, were these just clay soldiers or something more? Could the emperor have ordered portraits of his generals to be immortalized in stone? And if so, what else has been hidden all this time? The AI scan was only the beginning. What came next would shake archaeology and history to its core. To understand why the Terracotta Army exists, we have to return to the man who demanded it. Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of a unified China. In 221 BCE, after years of brutal warfare, he merged the warring states under one rule and gave China its very name. But his empire was built on more than conquest. It was built on fear and an obsession that would define his life. King Shi Huang was terrified of death. He survived assassination attempts, watched kingdoms crumble, and became consumed with one idea, immortality. He sent expeditions across the seas to search for the mythical lands of the immortals. He forced alchemists and scientists to create elixirs that promised eternal life, some mixed with mercury that slowly poisoned him. Yet no matter what he tried, time continued to chase him. So the emperor turned to a darker solution. If he could not live forever, then he would build a kingdom beneath the earth, one that would mirror the empire he ruled in life, a kingdom where he could continue to command, protected by an army that would never tire, never betray, never die. That is why he ordered the creation of a massive mausoleum and a silent army of clay soldiers to guard him for eternity. But what lay beneath the soil was not just symbolic, it was strategic and the emperor ensured that his secrets would remain buried at any cost. For more than 2,000 years, King Shi Huang's underground empire remained hidden. Generations lived and died above it, never knowing what lay beneath their feet. 
until the spring of 1974, when a group of farmers digging a well in a small village in Shanxi province struck something unusual. At first, it was just hardened soil, then fragments of red earthenware, and finally, the curve of a face staring back at them from the dirt. What they had uncovered looked lifeless, even ordinary. Pieces of clay, broken shards, scattered like rubble. But as they dug deeper, more fragments appeared. Terracotta bricks, bronze arrowheads, and the outline of a warrior's armor. The villagers thought little of it. Some used the bricks as pillows. Others sold arrowheads for pocket money. None of them could have imagined that they were standing above one of the greatest archaeological finds in history. When archaeologists arrived, the truth began to surface. Beneath the soil lay not one figure, but thousands. An entire army frozen in formation, stretching across vast pits. Soldiers, generals, archers, chariots, all arranged with military precision. Each face eerily unique, each expression unsettlingly human. The farmers had not just uncovered relics, they had stumbled upon a ghost army standing guard for a ruler who had been dead for over two millennia. But the question remained, was this army built to protect or to conceal something far more dangerous? The terracotta army was only the beginning, because just beyond those pits lies something even more mysterious, the tomb of King Shi Huang himself. A massive mound of earth rises above the plain, shaped like a truncated pyramid. Beneath it is said to be the emperor's underground palace, a fortress built to last for eternity. Historical records describe a labyrinth of chambers, booby-trapped passageways, and treasures beyond imagination. Ancient historian Sima Chen wrote that the tomb contained rivers of mercury flowing through miniature landscapes, a map of the empire built to scale, with the heavens painted on the ceiling above. To many, it sounded like legend, but when modern scientists tested the soil around the mound, they found mercury levels so high they could not be explained away. Perhaps the old stories were true after all. And then comes the chilling detail. Workers who built the tomb never left it. Fearing betrayal, the emperor ordered the passages sealed shut, burying thousands alive to keep the secrets of his final resting place hidden forever. Even today, the central chamber has never been opened. Archaeologists hesitate, not only because of the dangers of collapse or poison gases, but because of something more unsettling. What if disturbing the tomb releases not just mercury, but the emperor's final defense? What if the terracotta army, standing in silence, was never meant to protect him in the afterlife, but to guard the living from what he buried with him? The Chinese government has left the chamber sealed, untouched for more than two millennia. Yet, in 2025, AI scans brought us closer than ever before to peering inside. And what those scans revealed suggested that the tomb was never just a grave, it was a message, one meant for the future. For decades, archaeologists studied the terracotta army using traditional methods, painstaking excavation, careful restoration, cautious mapping. But in 2025, everything changed. A team of researchers deployed advanced artificial intelligence combined with ground-penetrating scans to peer into areas of the site never explored before. What appeared in the data stunned them. Hidden among the ranks of clay soldiers was a figure unlike the others a commander. His posture was striking, rigid, authoritative, commanding attention even in silence. His armor was carved with ornate patterns unseen on the other warriors, ribbons knotted with precision, a breastplate marked with what appeared to be dragons. But it was the face that froze researchers in disbelief. One eyebrow arched higher than the other, a faint fullness to one cheek, details so subtle they could not have been accidental. This was not a generic soldier, it looked like a portrait. The AI confirmed what the human eye suspected. This statue carried unique biometric features, details too precise to be coincidence. Was this modeled after a real general who once served Qin Shi Wong? If so, the terracotta army was not merely symbolic, it was personal. It was a way of granting immortality not just to the emperor, but to those closest to him. But if one commander was hidden here, 
How many more secrets remain buried? The scans hinted at even greater mysteries waiting below, and what they revealed next was far more disturbing. The discovery of the commander raised a chilling question. Were these statues just artistic creations, or were they portraits of real men? Archaeologists have long debated the lifelike details of the Terracotta Army. No two faces are the same, each expression unique, each set of features disturbingly human. Now with the AI scans confirming individual biometric precision, the possibility could no longer be ignored. What if the artisans of the Qin Dynasty did not work from imagination? What if they worked from models, living soldiers who stood before them, or worse, corpses preserved long enough to be copied in clay? If true, these warriors are not mere guardians, they are memories cast in stone. Eternal replicas of men who once lived, fought, and died under the emperor's command. Some historians believe this was Qin Shi Huang's final act of control. He could not preserve their bodies, but he could preserve their likenesses. In clay, they would never age. In formation, they would never betray. They would stand watch for eternity, their humanity sealed within lifeless expressions. But if each face tells a story, then the commander's discovery is just the beginning. Who else lies immortalized in clay? Advisors? Courtiers? Enemies? The AI scan suggests the army may hide more than soldiers, and the implications of that are far more dangerous than anyone expected. For centuries, scholars assumed the Terracotta Army was built to protect Qin Shi Huang in the afterlife. But the AI discoveries forced a darker interpretation. What if these warriors were never meant to guard the emperor, but to guard against something far more dangerous? Think of their formation. Thousands of soldiers positioned not loosely, but in precise military order. Cavalry units, archers, officers, and chariots placed with strategic intent. This was not art for art's sake. It was a battlefield frozen in clay. Some researchers now suggest the army was designed not as escorts for the emperor's soul, but as a wall between his tomb and the world above. If true, the implications are unsettling. Was the emperor trying to keep intruders out? Or was he trying to keep something inside? Ancient texts whisper of mercury rivers flowing beneath the tomb, of traps laid to destroy any who dared enter. Add to this the possibility of real faces preserved in clay, and the terracotta army begins to look less like a symbol of loyalty and more like a warning carved in stone. The AI scans hint that the army may have concealed chambers beneath their feet, areas too dangerous to excavate. Whatever is buried there, Qin Shi Huang wanted it sealed, and perhaps he wanted it sealed forever. When artificial intelligence scanned beneath the surface in 2025, it did more than map the layout of soldiers. It detected patterns that human eyes had missed. Behind the neat rows of warriors, the AI revealed what appeared to be hollow spaces, chambers buried deeper than archaeologists expected. Some were aligned directly beneath the army itself, almost as if the soldiers stood guard over them. But the most startling result came not from the shapes, but from the data. Sensors registered traces of organic matter, something that should not have survived after more than 2,000 years. For decades, the Terracotta Army was thought to be nothing but clay, bronze, and stone. Yet here we're reading suggesting that something once living had been sealed away within the tomb. Historians tried to explain it as contamination, fragments of wood, or decayed materials from collapsed structures. But the scans showed the signatures were localized, concentrated in certain areas where unusual statues stood watch. Some of the figures even displayed pigments that looked less like paint and more like preserved biological residue. If this data is correct, it forces a chilling conclusion. These statues may not be lifeless at all. They may contain remnants of the men they were modeled after. Qin Shi Huang may have ensured that their essence, their physical likeness, perhaps even fragments of their remains, was trapped inside the clay. And then there is the matter of the sealed chamber itself. 
AI analysis suggested it is larger than anyone imagined, with walls reinforced like a fortress. Something inside has been locked away with meticulous precision. The question is, was the emperor hiding his immortality or imprisoning something too dangerous to ever be released? Qin Shi Huang wanted one thing above all else, immortality. He swallowed mercury elixirs, sent ships across the sea chasing myths, and poured unimaginable resources into building his eternal city of the dead. In the end, his body failed him, but his dream did not die. It was burned into the clay, sealed inside his mausoleum, and preserved in ways we are only beginning to understand. The Terracotta Army is not just a monument to power. It is proof of the Emperor's obsession, a desperate attempt to command eternity. Each soldier is more than clay, each formation more than symbolic. They are pieces of a plan so vast, so consuming, that it blurred the line between life and death, history and prophecy. The AI scans of 2025 have made this clear. They show us that Qin Shi Huang did succeed in one sense. He achieved a kind of immortality. His face may not have survived, but his will endures. His empire still commands attention 2,000 years later. And if the statues truly carry the likeness of real men, if fragments of organic matter remain, then the emperor's reach extends beyond his grave. He immortalized not just himself, but those bound to him. But there is a darker legacy. For if the Terracotta Army was built not merely to guard but to contain, then what lies sealed within the tomb may not be treasure at all. It may be something the Emperor feared, something he sought to lock away where no one could find it. The shadow of Qin Shi Huang still looms, and with every new discovery, every new scan, we inch closer to unlocking what he wanted hidden. The question is, should we? For now, the tomb of Qin Shi Huang remains sealed. Archaeologists stand at the edge of history, knowing that the greatest chamber, the heart of the mausoleum, has never been opened. They hesitate, not only because of the danger of collapse, mercury vapors, or ancient traps, but because of something more unsettling. What if the Emperor's obsession with immortality left behind a legacy no one is prepared to confront? The AI scans of 2025 have shown us glimpses, hidden chambers, traces of organic matter, a commander carved with uncanny precision. Clues that suggest the Terracotta Army is not only a monument, but a warning. A silent wall between us and whatever lies in the darkness below. And so the questions grow louder. Was Qin Shi Huang preparing to rule in the afterlife, or was he imprisoning something he feared might outlast him? Were the warriors standing in formation to serve their emperor, or to seal away a power no human should ever touch? Each year, millions of visitors walk past the Terracotta Army, staring into faces that seem to stare back. But the true secret still waits in the sealed chamber untouched for 2,000 years. And maybe, it was meant to stay that way.